Greetings families, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mambi and this video is about a quick update in Kenya. What is going on? Kenya has been, Kenyans, the youth in particular, has been demonstrating for a few days now. We are heading towards one week since this demonstration started because of the financial bill that they want to, or the budget that they want to bring out and the youth says, no, 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 we are not going to accept this. We want jobs instead of increasing taxation. So yes, Mr. Roto said that he, he has listened to the youth, they have democratic right. Uh, he has listened to them, but guess what? He was in the church when he gave this announcement. And before he even gave the announcement, the youth was outside protesting we back thank you so much for your time our young people have stepped forward to engage on the affairs of their country they have done a democratic duty to stand and be recognized and I want to tell you, we are going to have a conversation with you. But as the president was addressing the congregants, <laughs> the youth who are now in hundreds sought to catch the attention of the head of state after being denied entry by the police officers who had been deployed in their numbers. <laughs> after an unusually brief speech, President Ruto left the venue at a time some of the youth were already trying to force their way into the school through the perimeter wall. <laughs> Other politicians also sneaked out of the venue. <laughs> wow, Mr. Ruto ran away. <laughs> this time the youth are not joking at all. Every corner he goes, they attack him. Everywhere he goes, they attack him. Left and right, left and right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just like we warn him. I can say we warn him he should have listened to us, but no, he didn't. So this is what is going on. Some of the youth took it to another church to protest. While they were preaching, they stood up. They said they should reject the bill. I said, what? Nowadays is not easy. This, this time, like one of our ladies, a uh, Ghanaian lady, TikToker, I don't know whether she has a YouTube channel or not. I should research her a bit more. I, I must have that video here. If not, I will look for it. She has warned the leaders. She said that these days is not like it was before. Because of internet, our leaders should be very, very careful of what they do because if they still will find out, Whatever they do, we'll find out. And when we find out, we'll come out and talk about it. And the whole world will hear about it. So they should be very, very careful. The game has changed. I wish I would find that video. Yes, families, I managed to get that video. I dig it out from somewhere. Please listen to it yourself. What our sister is saying. She's warning the leaders. It's just like what is happening in Kenya now. This video, I saw it months and months ago, and I kept it somewhere. Listen to it, and I'll be back. Thank you so much for your time. Everybody is benefiting from Africa but children of the soil. The time for the leaders flying private jets and buying homes is over. Let me warn you, let me tell you this for free. The time of flying private jets, buying homes for your family, spending millions of dollars, taxpayers' dollars, accumulating wealth for your family is over. Let me tell you why it's over. That time is over because now we are getting into a time of accountability. Yep, everybody has a cell phone. Everybody can educate themselves. There's, you can't lie anymore. Right now, Africa is aware that the West is not their friend. And now they are called, they have a nickname for you guys. They call you guys the leaders, the puppets. They've recognized, I don't want to call some leaders' names here, but and people that are not even in your country know that you are a traitor and know that you are a puppet, right? So that time that you are coming to come into government and come and steal, that time is over because you'll be embarrassed yes, online. It is over. That time is over. <laughs> they cannot hide anymore. They cannot hide. If we allow them, they will hide. But if we don't allow them and we stand up for our rights, like he said, 
our democratic right, if we will stand up for that, there's no place that they will go and we will not follow them. <laughs> the cameras, the phones, everything will follow them in their faces. See how it works. They better do things right. They have to do things right. Please let's listen to our brother in the church because his voice needs to be here as well. Thank you so much for your time. For a very long time, the church has been a pillar of justice and a voice of reason. This too is a matter that the church should stand firm in. It cannot afford to be impartial. Let us stand for Kenya, okay? Reject the finance bill. 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 Yes, reject the bill. Reject it at all costs. That bill should take the back seat. Mr. Ruto should reshuffle everything he's doing because he told Kenyans to live by their means. They are already living by the army, but they cannot afford it anymore. So they should do something about it before it's too late. I asked a question the other day. Do you think Mr. Ruto can survive this now that he starts running away? <laughs> can he survive? If he survives this, he can survive anything that comes his way. The youth have the enough. They are the generations of any country. And now they find their voices because they can learn from others. You see, this is the reason why they want to shut Niger down. They don't want to. Macron said it. He said, if we allow them to succeed, it means others will follow. This is what is going on. They knew it, that the revolution, once it takes place in one place and is successful, it will spread like wildfire. It is spreading now. And it is spreading the right way. It's not like they are doing something good or he is doing something good. And the youth said, no, you should go. He is doing everything the wrong way, almost everything the wrong way. Because if he's doing the right thing, they will be cheering him up. You see, Mali, the rest, when they come out, you see how they are cheering them up. There will be the next video coming. They are happy to see them. There's something about their presence. But your country is not peaceful and you want to go to Haiti. You want to go to Haiti. How many thousands have they given to him? Where is that money? The money that he took to send his police to Haiti. Where is that money? He wants more. Okay, the youth are waiting to hear from him what he has to tell them. Otherwise, they will still be on the street. Anyway, my people, thank you so, so much for your time. What do you think about Mr. Ruto in the church? They always use the church to manipulate us. If you don't know it now, I don't know when you will know it. Thank you for your time. Please, my returning subscribers and my new subscribers, I appreciate you all. Those who are passing by, please consider subscribing to support your auntie, your sister, your mom. Thank you so much. Those who have been sharing the videos, thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And I'm back with a video from Mali or Burkina Faso. One who will follow this. Bye-bye. See you.